Councilwoman Hickey. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Council President. I'm going to start off with a few uh, committee reports from the clerk's office. The following licenses, permits, and transcripts issued in the city clerk's office during the month of June 2018 and fees received have been turned over to the municipal treasurer of the city of Linden. 91 um, birth, death, and marriage uh, transcripts, 31 marriage civil union licenses, 11 miscellaneous revenue, two bingo raffles, 103 vital statistics, and a total city revenue of $3,099.65 and a state revenue of $775 with a total amount of transactions of 238. The city's clerk's licensing division is submitting this monthly report for the month of May 2018. This, uh, the office issued 487 dog licenses and 37 miscellaneous licenses and collected $9,413. Again, that was for the month of May. For the month of June, the office issued 94 dog licenses and 86 miscellaneous licenses and collected a total amount of $4,325. On to our fire department. Um, my apologies, I know I'm to the chief and the fire department as chairwoman. Unfortunately, I had to go to work the other day and I know I missed a very, very beautiful ceremony. I truly tried to make everything. A uh, fellow employee um, had an emergency with her family, so I was unable to attend. Uh, from the ambulance reimbursement system, systems for the Linden Fire Department and ambulance billing, the amount of $67,422.30 for June 2018 has been added to the total deposits. For the totaling for 2018 to be $439,204.65. The Fire Prevention Bureau collected the following monies during the month of June. Uh, total monies collected were $9,398.95. On to my little report. By the, by the time I get to me, I, a lot of has been said and done already as a chairwoman of DPW and, and um, many other boards, engineering and so forth. So I know everybody gets to listen to them already, so I'm not going to repeat all of them. Everyone knows they can reach me at any time through my phone, email, or social media. I do have from uh, Jeff Taniel, uh, Tandle, who is in charge of uh, Shade Tree Commission. Uh, he sent out an email that if you would like a tree planted in the fall, we need to have you uh, uh, send an email to your council person. Um, and the requests are due in by 2 p.m. on Wednesday, July 25th. The Shade Tree Commission and a few of their members have been out working hard and pruning trees. And uh, certainly, I have found it very interesting with the knowledge that Jeff Tandle has uh, with the trees throughout the city. And I'm learning so much. Uh, engineer, engineering, uh, we are working on, as you can see, funds were passed last month and this month for uh, certain wards. We're on evens this year, because it's an even year, to be paved. Uh, hopefully next month, we'll pass the funding for the 10th Ward. Um, my residents, too, are anxiously waiting, but, you know, we, we have to be fair to everyone. But in the 10th Ward, we will be having Princeton Road paved, Amherst, Verona from Amherst to Elmwood, Edgewood Road from Myrtle to Amherst, and also Forest Drive from the Clark border to Stiles Street. I want to say thank you to George Verchik, who is retiring as of August 1st. Uh, his years of service are greatly appreciated. His knowledge throughout the city and uh, regarding our engineering and infrastructure uh, has been really helpful to me through the years as I've been on council, and you're surely going to be missed. However, I do wish you a very happy retirement with wonderful things happening in your life. and. I'm ready, we have Joe Krobach as a, a backup right now who's really truly amazing too and has worked under George for a long time. So I can assure everyone that things will be moving smoothly. On July 20th through the 28th, the Linden Cultural Committee uh, will be having their summer play 
uh, hosted in the Linden High School Susan B. Hudak Auditorium. Uh, I have to express that over the years, learning through the Cultural Committee, many people can't afford to attend a Broadway show. It's very, very expensive uh, for two, four people to go have lunch or dinner. Uh, the Cultural Committee puts on an amazing performance, and I have to say, extremely comparable to uh, a Broadway show. Uh, their talents uh, amongst the city and many members from the county are amazing. And if anybody has a night available, um, try to attend. Bring your children if you can. They will truly love it. Uh, this year's uh, play is Legally Blonde. So hopefully you can attend. On August 7th is nice National Night Out, which is always at the Promenade, which is always hosted by our police department. An amazing event. Everyone always attends. There's food, there's prizes. Uh, the policemen are there, all of our force and fire, everybody's there, all our first responders, uh, to teach the kids and to meet and greet with them. And it's really important in today's society, I think, for the children to get to know uh, all of our first responders in our city. Uh, they mean a lot to me, and I know they mean a lot to others. Lastly, uh, Winfield Carnival is coming up soon. It is always a problem in the 10th Ward. Over the years, what I have done as about three or four of the blocks I've worked with, uh, I'll be working with Lieutenant Gunther in our traffic department. We always make sure what I do now is one side of the street parking just for the safety of all the residents, of the children, of the walkers uh, that go through the street. Many residents aren't very happy with the Winfield Carnival when it happens. Uh, it's only three days this year, and um, I just want to let my residents know I appreciate their patience and I go there and check on everything every night. The garbage has been minimal. Uh, the Winfield Committee and Fire Department have been wonderful with helping to make sure everything runs smoothly. So I just want to assure everybody, uh, and still I hope you can get out and just stop by and support the Winfield Poli uh, Fire Department as well. And with that being said, I just, um, Want to wish everybody a nice uh, rest of their summer till next month. And uh, thank you, Council President. Thank you, Councilwoman.